back everyone to another episode of Mumbles. Today, we're doing a giggity giggity game review. And today, we'll be reviewing the newly released game for Xbox One, Read. Now this game costs $2.99 in the Xbox One store. So if you want it, go check it out there. Now this game is a platformer. It is a cat-based platformer. Mumbles, what else does it, it's just a platformer guys. Jump from point A to point B, and open up the door by hitting the switch that lies in the sky. That's really all there is to this game. Very simple, very simplistic, but not the most easiest game in the world, as I'll, I'll be showing you in the videos as well as telling you about. So first off, graphics in this game, it's 2D. Uh, it's nothing fantastic, it's nothing refreshingly clear or anything like that. It's just nice little solid graphics that, uh, you know, Pretty much anybody will be down with and understand and like. Now soundtrack wise, this game, I gotta be honest with you, it has kind of a boring soundtrack to it. Uh, it's just not the greatest out there. It's not the worst, but it's not the greatest either. It, it, it really pales in comparison to other games out there that have really unique, awesome soundtracks. As this game really only has one soundtrack to it, so... Mm. Now finally the controls. Really all there is to this game is jump, double jump, and move. That's all there is to this game. There's no other controls than that. So control-wise, this game is fantastic. But there is one con to the controls that I will talk about in the con section coming up. But first, let's get into the gameplay. So basically, in this game, you play as a cat character. There's no real story to it. You're just trying to get from point A to point B. And to do that, you have to jump over obstacles like spikes, enemies, and things like that. You also have to avoid things like arrows and other things that pop up at you. And if you get hit by anything, even once, you die. So, your goal is to make it from point A to point B. Now, along the way from going from point A to point B, you need to hit a switch. Flying in the sky. So, not only do you have to deal with all that stuff that's going on there, but you have to deal with getting the switch. So, it is a relatively hard game. So, that's really all there is to read. It's just a platformer that does its best to make you get from point A to point B. There's no real story in it. It does have cute characters that talk to you and things in it, but that's really all there is to it. So with that in mind, let's get into the cons of this game. First off, there's no real story to this game. There's not a lot being told in this game. I think having an addition of a story would have been something that really could have benefited this game because it would have made me been like more like, you know, it's not the greatest gameplay, but I gotta find out what happens to blah 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 blah. And this game didn't really do that for me. Now the other con is the controls are slippery. And by this I mean, when you move and you need to make a precise jump, if you are off on your control at all, I mean if you overstep even an inch, you're gonna die. They're very slippery controls and they just don't have that grip like some games do. You know how in some games when you stop moving, your character drops and stops. In this game, your character moves a little bit. And it's like, ah, you have to be so precise. I'm sure the game was built this way, but that does make it a little bit frustrating at times. Now the final con to this game is it is, it is rather hard at times. You have to do things such as make a precise jump to a platform or fall in the correct place. And at times that can be a difficult task to ask of the player. So it is a platformer that can be frustrating at times. And I know there's platformers out there that are just solely made for that to drive us crazy. This might be one of them. So I had to ask myself now, what is this game gonna get on our Mumbles review? And I thought long and hard about it. And I gotta be honest guys, this game is gonna get a five out of 10. It has a lot of good things working for it. It's solid gameplay, fun at a good price, but it doesn't have that oomph that some of the bigger games out there have. So not a bad game. For $2.99, it's a great find. But just be aware, you're not getting a AAA title. You are getting a single A title indie game that has been brought to you with much love and care from the studio. And it's a great game, but just go in with tampered expectations. So 5 out of 10 in our mobile review, still a great game. Please check out this game. It's a lot of fun. 
And yeah, guys, this has been another episode of Mobus. I want to thank y'all so much for joining me. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, smack all those buttons. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Take care.